today I'm going to be cooking some food on the grill. So John sent over some pork porterhouse, some beef porterhouse, and some burgers. Let's get it done. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yo, this is Dash, and today, oh wait, we've already covered what we're talking about. But as an added bonus, if you guys didn't see the video where I talked about the Cosmos uh, Q rubs, I'm going to be using a couple of those to season the porterhouse beef and pork as well as the burgers today and I'm going to get them out on the grill and we're getting ready to have a decent lunch. Okay so today I'm going to be cooking two two pork porterhouses and for the pork porterhouses I've decided I'm going to do use the honey killer bee and the sweet honey pecan. On the beef porterhouses I'm going to use wow okay I'm going to use the cow cover as well as a hot cow cover and then on the burgers I have since I have four burgers here I'm gonna try the Texas beef rub and then I'm also going to use the oh I just had it hmm oh this is a tough decision I think I'm gonna do some hot cow cover no I'll just do cow cover Texas beef, sweet honey pecan, and the honey chipotle killer beef. Hopefully, that'll make for an awesome time for our burgers. So I'm gonna get everything seasoned up and I'll see you guys back out at the grill. All right, so we are out at the grill, or back out at the grill. I apologize for the road noise behind me. It is a little damp again today. So, but I have this grill set up. I think I'm going to be cooking a pork on this grill, and oh yeah, she's back. I don't have a name for this grill. I just call this one the big charcoal grill, and then that's the little charcoal grill. But my big charcoal grill is back, and I am going to be cooking the burgers down low first, hot and fast, and I'm going to put the porterhouses up top. We're going to kind of let them hang out for a while get some heat but we're not going to do anything fancy to them and then I'm going to do a reverse sear I always like doing that we're going to get them up to a specific temperature then we'll bring them down once the burgers are done we'll bring them down we'll get them onto the hot side or the, the hot area and we'll get them finished off but let's go get the grills are definitely ready let's go get the meat <clears throat> all right so let's get this together on that all right so I'm out of the grill and we have a hot fire here nothing wrong with that my charcoal is good and hot so I have my burger first one is gonna be the honey killer bee and I'm gonna try my best to keep these separate One says SHP, oh, sweet honey pig. This one says TV, which is the Texas beef. And then lastly, we have the, the cow cover. That's it for my burgers. Now, <clears throat> For my porterhouse steaks, I'm 
going to put this up here to hang out. This is the cow cover. And this is the hot cow cover. Actually, I think I'm going to turn these around. Get the bone inside out. Cow cover, hot cow cover. All right, let's get the the pork porterhouses on. So we have the honey killer bee. And the honey chipotle killer bee. And because of the fact that Because of the fact that my burgers are cooking a little faster, I kind of move these off of the heat just so that I can, uh, these will cook a little slower and I can take care of those that are cooking much faster. All right, now to me, the best thing to, to do with uh, burgers is to use a spatula. So, oh yeah. burgers are looking pretty money and I just flipped them so uh, that won't be they won't be long before they're done and of course I've completely forgotten which one was which <laughs> I know this is the Texas beef and this is the um, the cow cover those two I don't remember we'll have to go back in the video to figure it out all right so I probably should include this in a whole separate barbecue tools video but for, for all intents and purposes, since because I'm using them right now, a spatula is what I recommend and prefer for using burgers. A big, heavy, wide spatula. This is a big metal spatula. I can use it and put it on the grill. I've had this spatula for quite a while. And for cooking anything else on the grill, usually I use a good set of long tongs so that you can keep your heat, your, your hands away from the heat. So big metal spatula long tongs metal tongs heavy duty long tongs are where it's at all right so we have our burgers here and our fire is raging <clears throat> and uh they're done so this is the cow cover oh this is the cow cover and this is the uh beef oh shoot oh texas brit beef and this is the cow cover i can't remember what those two are unfortunately I'm sorry but they all look done and I'm gonna keep them separate one two three four let me go get something to put these in actually let me move these off of the flame so I can go get something to put them in And now, as far as the porterhouse, the beef porterhouse, this was the cow cover, and that's looking good. And this was the uh, hot cow cover. That also is looking good. I haven't checked on my uh, pork porterhouse just yet, so let me do that before I go inside to get something to put the um, burgers in. And once again, this grill, I love it to death, but it seems like I have to fiddle with the um, the air intakes down at the bottom. They're kind of seized up. Because of that, <clears throat> this grill does not like to cook unless it's open. So we'll go ahead and open these up, or I'll open the grill up, and we'll just let those sit out, hang out for a while. Okay, so these are out on the same orientation I had them on the, on the grill. This one and this one are the two that I lost track of. They're either going to be the Honey Killer Bee, the sweet honey pecan or the honey chicken or excuse me honey chipotle killer bee these two i do know what they are this one was the uh, texas beef and this one was the cow cover so i'm gonna just try a piece no no extra bread no no extra anything I'm just gonna try a little bit of each one of these and tell you what i think
that one was actually a little sweet. So I'm thinking it was a sweet honey pecan, but I can't remember. This one was also a little sweet. I think this was the honey chipotle killer bee. <clears throat> this one was the cow cover. I actually like that one a lot. And last but not least, Let's try the Texas beef. Now, and looking at it, I can see that there's a lot of sugar in this one, so I'm and, and expecting this to be pretty sweet. Mm. I'm going back for another piece. All right, so of these four that I have here, the cow cover is my favorite of these but the texas uh beef it was a subtle sweet i it, it looked like it was a lot more sugar and maybe just just because it's on a burger but i'm impressed with these uh seasonings so far now we're going to go back out to the grill and i'm going to get my porterhouses both pork and beef uh finished up all right so after having a little bit of a mini taste test session inside this is the cow cover and this is the hot cow cover and these things uh they, they look to me like they're pretty much done i'm gonna pull them down here just to get a little bit of char on them real fast oh, I should point to this, one. this one was the cow cover and this is the hot cow cover so we're gonna have another little mini taste test session all right so i put a crack in the grill <laughs> So we're getting some air in there without losing all of the heat. And it seems to be working. My pork is coming out. And let's move this back just a little. We'll move that back just a little. And actually, we're gonna turn them around and put the bone side out. All right. I'll come back, oh well. Now, I'll come back and check on those in a bit. All right, so here we have, this is the cow cover, and this is the hot cow cover. You guys can't see that. This is the hot cow cover, but I'm gonna try a piece from the cow cover first. And this is the outside edge of the steak, so it's a little more well done than I, than I would like. I'm trying to be nice and not eat all of it because my family still wants to try some. But I'm digging the cow cover a lot. Let's move that there. Take this last little bite of cow cover. No. This one was a hot cow cover. Hmm. I don't taste taste much more heat in this one, but I do taste a little more salt. So with the hot cow cover, I don't really taste any much more heat. I do taste more salt though, but that could just be my heavy hand. Mm. So far, my favorite still is to date, or as of all of the ones I've tried, is the cow cover. Definitely really good. I'm sneaking one more piece before I let everyone else have some. That 
was the strip side. I'm gonna take a piece of the fillet side before I go out, go out of each and see if there's any difference. This is the fillet side on the cow cover. I will say, looking at the ingredients, I was actually a little worried about the salt, excuse me, the sugar, because it, sugar is the leading ingredient, but it's not as sweet as I was expecting. I guess the other seasonings and spices that, that are in the, the blend are not masking, but they're blending and they're all coming together so that the sugar isn't too overpowering, which is good. And last but not least, I'm going to try a piece of the filet side from the... <clears throat> honey or the the hot cow cover hopefully that steam is coming off let's try to get it into the black of my man mm. I like hot and spicy food so I wouldn't say that this one is actually spicy, but I am getting a little more hint of spice. And that could have, the piece that I tried the first time just might have been a little heavy handed on my seasoning part. Um, but I do get a little, I mean, I am getting a little more heat, but um, I'm not blown away or it's not burning my face off, which is fine. So got to get back out to the grill, pork porter houses. So these last two are the pork porter houses. And of course, I. Whoops. I think <laughs> I forgot which is which because I don't have like I should have used toothpicks. That probably would have been a good idea. All right, so this one was this, the porterhouse that was on the left on the grill, and, and of course I can't remember which one it was, and this was the one on the right as far as what the seasoning was. So I'm gonna just cut into to this, and I have my middle and biggest taste testers. They're going to try this out and tell me what they think, and then they're going to have lunch. <clears throat> so there's that one, and we're just going to cut a big chunk out. Thank you. So now this is this was out on the on the edge, so this is a little more well done than you probably would like. Like a thank you. All right, well, all right, here. You guys go ahead and try that. So, no, 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 try the same one at the same time. Makes more sense. It's hot, I'm sorry. Is this sweet? Is it hot? Is there, is there heat? This one's a little sweet. Yeah. So unfortunately, in post production, I'll match up which flavor this one was, so I, because I just don't remember. Again, it's it's. I did the honey honey chipotle killer bee, the honey killer bee, or the sweet honey pecan, and unfortunately, I can't remember which one was which. All right, go ahead and try that one. <laughs> There's more here. Mmm. This one's a lot sweeter. A lot sweeter? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can taste the um, seasoning in this one a lot more. But I remember what you said earlier, so. <clears throat> Alright, so you're not going to try. Mm -hmm. the, what I said earlier was the chill. I told them not to try to guess which of the, the, the rubs that this was. I just wanted them to try it to tell me what they thought of them. More or less to say, oh, this is the sweet honey this, or this is the honey this, that, or this is the, the honey chipotle. I didn't want that. Go ahead. Really sweet. I like it. You like mm -hmm. that one? Of the two of the two of these, which do you like more? This one. The sweet. This one. I can taste it a lot more. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, there's your fourth pack. Alright, <clears throat> well. Okay, so there you have it. Um, I want to thank, first and foremost, I need to thank John for having Porter & York send me these meats to try. 
Uh, there were two pork porterhouses, two beef porterhouses, and there were four burgers. I think it might have been two pounds of burgers. All right, so in, in the same vein, I want to also make sure I thank John for having Cosmos send out all of these different rubs for me to try. I'm going to use the eight different rubs, you know, on camera, off camera, so I can kind of figure out which ones we like the most. Again, I was worried a little bit about the sugar content in some of these rubs, but it seems to be balanced out by everything else in the rub, which is great to me. But other than that, I really want to thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Check the link in the description. There will be a link in the description for not only Porter and York's website where you can find and pick up and order these meats for yourself, also a link to Cosmos Q's website where you can pick up some of these different rubs. So far, our favorite has been the cow cover, which is, is pretty awesome. So thank you again for watching. If you like what you saw, if you learned something today, please leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I'll see you next time.